this is my son's link plus laptop now all he uses this for currently is his school work um and the reason for that is there's only 32 gig of um of storage on it it's got four gig of ram but only 32 gig of storage which which means that really all he can use it for is just the uh the the chrome that they use at school for all the homework what I want him to start doing though is backing up all his photos from his phone so that if there's ever a problem, if he loses a phone or anything like that, he's got a secondary storage. Now I've also got the uh, Microsoft uh, Cloud, uh, which I back everybody's photos up onto, but this is a, a belts and braces thing, right? So this is, this is signed on on mine. And what we're going to do is we're going to install this uh, additional SSD which is 240 gig of storage. It's a M.2 2280 and the 22 is the width of it and the 80 is the length of it in millimeters and that's it. I've also got uh, another laptop, which is my daughter's. Now this one takes um, same M2 but instead of the 2280, it says 2242. Now that's coming, so I'll install that. And it's the same thing, just unscrew the plate and pop it in. So put that to one side. And that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna unscrew the plate on the back and just install it. Nice and quick, apparently. Not done it before, but we'll see. Right, let's have a look. So there's the, uh, so it says, got four gig of, um, of RAM. And if we pull this up and go into the local disk and look at the properties on it. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, the capacity is uh, 32, well, just over 30 gig, uh, usable 28 gig. And this should increase it so that it can use, use the laptop for an awful lot more. Could have put a, a micro SD card in, but it's just not quite the same. And for the price of this, I think it's just 30 odd pound. Why wouldn't you do it? Right, so first things first, let's uh, let's close it down. And while it's closing down also, just gonna remove the power. And then once it's closed down, we'll flip it over and we'll, uh, we'll install the new SSD. Okay, so we close down and what we'll do is, We'll flip this over and underneath you see the plate there that you remove and then this goes into it just something about this western digital wd green uh, ssd it's not the fastest thing ever ever made by man um it's green because it's a low power state one so which is ideal for because he never has this plugged in obviously it's in his backpack and he pulls it out during the day and uses it so you don't want something that's going to drain power from it um but as I say, it's a good price, just over 30 pounds. And that's it there. Now I've grounded myself, so we'll leave that there. We'll undo this. And once we take this off, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a screw underneath it. Yeah, so there's the screw there. You can see it there. So that needs to come out. Just take that out. And this is keyed, it will only go in one way. So I'm presuming it's this way. Now, before I pop that in, let's just, you can uh, have to leave that there and we'll pick this up. Oops, there's it. there goes the screw. And you should be able to see in there, the connectors. So if we get this and get that 
right now that's pushed in so all it's a case of now is make sure it's in all the way get the screw and then just pop that in it should be as simple as that put the cover back on fiddle of this when you're wearing glasses pop that in right let's power it back up and see see if it's still working cable back in at the side with any luck it should have all registered right so we've installed the SSD um, as I say it's 240 gigabyte but the PC is not not seeing it so what we've got to do is we've got to initialize that that drive now now if you come down to the search bar at the bottom there if you type in partition or something similar to it and you can see up here now it says create and format hard disk partitions so if we click on there right it brings this up now if I just move that so this is what it can see this is what we've currently got which is drive C which is um, 28.23 gigabyte uh, obviously in the NTFS format now this one here which is unallocated that's the new drive that we've put in and we need to initialize it first so if we click on initialize right and it's saying that it's unallocated so now if i'm not mistaken i right click go into new simple volume oh, excuse me go into new simple volume go into the wizard which opens up so i click next on that Right, now what we've got to do is make sure that uh, the maximum disk space in megabytes matches the simple volume size that we're creating, which it does. Click next. We're going to assign it a letter. We're going to assign the drive a letter. Now, obviously, we've already got um, a C drive. So alphabetically, I'm just going to go after that, which is D, but you can name it anything as long as it's not already been taken. So we'll call it D and click next. So we're going to have it in the NTFS format or file system. Click next. Click finish. And that's it. So now it's formatting at the moment. Once it's done, there we go. Uh, new volume D. Now I could have named that actually. I should have named it storage, um, storage volume or something like that. But that's what it is. Let's just see if I can change that actually. Uh, properties. Right, so yeah, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to put storage drive. And apply. Right, now, if we go back, shrink that, right, now, if we go back to the drive, and we have a look on my PC, so there we go, that's the local disk, which has uh, just under 10 gig of free space, and this is the new one, the one that I've put on, obviously I've called it storage drive, it's drive D, and there's 223 gig of free storage space on there, which uh, should be able to take quite a few photos as a backup. Um, it can be used for so much more than photos, obviously, but it actually makes this, this laptop really usable, which it hasn't been previously. So that's how you install um, an M.2 SSD.